In this video, I will go over steps that new car buyers can maybe think about when they're in the process of getting that brand new whip. So stay tuned to the rest of this video. Step number one is to find a car that gets the job done. And let's set the record straight. We are not here to buy BMWs or Porsche. Not everybody will be able to buy those type of cars. You just want a car that can bring you from point A to point B. But don't get me wrong, <laughs> if one Bima and one Porsche in a your budget, then floss all you want. But for the regular folk like me and you, a good beginner car to start with is going to be a Honda Fit. And the reason that I chose a Honda Fit is not because I am biased to Honda, but I am saying this because if you want something that can be resold for a good value, if you want something that is affordable, that parts are cheap and that almost anybody can fix. All right guys, so we have Chris on here. And it's just a lucky thing that I stopped by today because Chris Ann bought her car and I'm just going to let her tell you like what she went through like what paperwork she needed and just the overall process of getting her new car my name is Chris Ann. so basically it was it wasn't the easiest process for me but I made it through I bought my car crash and because as a young buyer I think that's the better thing to do because Especially if you're a student like me going to the university, it's going to be hard to get a loan from the bank if you don't have a um, work statement or something like yep, that. Yep, yep. Something like that. But what I did, I actually had to make sure that my light driver's license was over like a year. So mine was two years and odd. So it had to be over a year. But for me, it was still expensive because of my age. So what they did now, they tried to find the best rate. So if I didn't have any accidents and etc. and my license is not young, I got a pretty good deal. So if your license is yes, less than a year old, I guarantee you that it's going to be too much. <laughs> yes. So also, the process of purchasing the car, I actually found a good dealer. Thanks. Shout out to J Juba's Auto Imports. Big up Juba, big up. <laughs> yes, so I actually found a good dealer. So the process wasn't too, too hard and long like other persons will complain about. So what he did, he I told him exactly what I wanted. I told him I want a 2015 Honda Fit. All right, so basically you found something in your budget. Yeah. And and you didn't just say, yo, at the hype moment, people are drive Mark X, people are exactly. drive BMW. I think your first car can't be one of those hype cars. <laughs> you need something that fits in your budget and one of the best cars in my opinion. I'm not being biased just because it's being sold right now, but a Honda Fit, one of the best beginner cars out there because you get like a style, you get little quality and plus, as the song <laughs> say, Nami you get Honda. BA number. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, right? yeah, that has been her process, and it's basically just finding something that fits your budget. Yeah. Something that can get you from point A to point B in comfort. If I was supposed to get the car of my choice, I would drive in a 2019 Honda card, and I got money for that. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I don't know if she had throw stones for me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, man, that has been her process. And she has a YouTube channel, by the way, Chrisan TV. She just started. Head on over, subscribe to her channel, and you know, leave some feedback so she can build her viewership, right? Yes. Please and thank you. Yo, Wagwan, you watch and you now like, plus you now subscribe to the channel. Why not wait, man? So now you decide what type of vehicle you want and what type of vehicle fit your budget. Now is the time to either decide if you want it new or used. And if you're in Jamaica, majority of the time you're going to do used car dealership. So I am here today at a used car dealership at one of my friend's place. His name is Javari Williams, otherwise known as Juba. Afternoon, everybody. This is Jubas Auto Imports. Follow us on Instagram at Jubas underscore auto underscore imports on Instagram and Facebook at Jubas Auto Import. And yeah, that's it. We don't have any more social media. So, if we go into the path of using a used car dealership or used car imports, generally the bank will need some form of paperwork to start process the loan. Generally, you would need to take, um, you know, a job letter. Mm -hmm. You know, stating that you know you actually work where you work, yeah. how long you've worked there, 
a lot of times um, banks require you to be working for at least some banks is two years, some banks is a year. Yeah, man. Um, and if you have contract, they might give you a rough time. Yeah, if you're a contracted, a very good point. If you're a contracted worker, you're going to get a rough time in get getting that time. loan. Now, well, if you work at least two years with the contract, with the contract. renew or something yeah. before. Um, yeah, so if you're not a permanent worker, it's going to be a little tough. But, but it can happen. Can. But can it can happen. All right. If you get paid fortnightly, mm -hmm. they most times they require the last six paychecks. Mm -hmm. or if you get paid monthly, they require the last three paychecks. Three paychecks. So, like our oh, friend Chris and now just passed through and she worked with a budget of saying, you know, the fit would be the best car mm -hmm. to start out with. If she should I go to the bank, mm -hmm. what kind of form should I bring to the bank? You know, it start with a certificate fitness. of fitness. Mm -hmm. If it's a new import, you're going to need to bring an import entry on C87. Mm -hmm. Also, you're going to need a valuation report on the vehicle mm -hmm. to see the value of the car. They won't give you a loan for more than what the car is valued. Mm -hmm. So, the car is valued 1.8, and let's say you know, you're getting overcharged and the car dealer is selling it for 2 million. Yes, bam, the the bank will not give you that loan. So it has to be what the car is valued or less. So, just a brief synopsis of everything that they might need now. I no need the Proforma invoice. invoice, import entry, C87, the fitness, the valuation report and that's basically to get the process started. Mm -hmm. On your end now you need to provide the job letter and your pay slips. Your pay slips and mm -hmm. Yeah, that would get it well anyway. Wagwan, so you're watching the video, you clearly like what you see, so why haven't you subscribed yet? Please like this video, share it with your friends, ring that notification bell so the quicker you can do all of that, you can just get back to the video, right? Alright, let's go. Now we're <laughs> on to step number two, and that is find a bank. And because we know most of us don't have any cash in our pockets like that, our money just saved up in our bank book to buy a car, we have to go to the bank for them to loan us some money. And please, me a big one, when you go to the bank to buy a car, don't take a loan that the interest rate is over 10%. Instead, do what I did wait on those deals you know you hear the deal them pan radio say oh come in and you get seven to nine percent interest with 10 years to pay try to get some of those deals and let it work out for you because the longer the loan period the less you would have to repay per month and yes the time long and you will overpay for that car but at least on those monthly repayment you don't have to fork out a bunch of money just to get the loan paid you would have a longer term to pay for it but at least every month you have some little wiggle room to manage the rest of your money all right so let's get down to the nitty gritty what will you need to bring to the bank for them to start processing your loan all right so for your identification you're going to bring your driver's license your driver's license already go have your trn on it so bring your driver's license then you're going to bring your proof of address some light bill some jps bill some bill and then you're going to bring with you three months pay statements that's if you receive pay every month but if you receive pay bi-weekly then you have to bring about six pay statements or pay stops so after presenting all your documents like personal documents then they are going to ask for the documents of the vehicle and as we stated in the prior tip just bring a performer invoice your valuation your fitness certificate and they will tell you if you have all the paperwork or if they need something else or if you're good to go <laughs> fool sometimes there you go guys so the bank is going to tell you your monthly repayment and most times you can negotiate this payment in a certain stone like the 10 commandments so negotiate and let them know what payment you can handle because remember this the bank needs your business you can shop around thrift shop and get the best rate and the best payments that work for you because they need your money to do their business yo wagwan you watch and you now like plus you now subscribe to the channel why not wait man so now we're on to step three and this one shocked me when i was doing this process but it's to make sure that you have 
processing fee money because even though some banks will say oh zero percent down and come and take a loan not every offer will be like that and maybe the bank you're working with gives you better rates but they don't have zero percent down so that means you have to have some processing money but either way try to have 10 percent of either the car value or the loan value in that processing money please put aside some money also for insurance because when i was doing mine i thought that i had to have the car insured after i made the purchase but no you have to insure the car because it's a part of their processing the bank wants to make sure that their liability that they lend the money to you for you to buy that car has to be insured because they just don't want their money to go down the drain like that but you who are you next up in that processing fee are the fitness and the registration while some dealerships might do the fitness for you if they don't do it just make sure you find the closest depot to your area and carry the car down there and just do your driving up and down let them examine your vehicle and see if it's fit for jamaican roads that if you drop through a pothole you can end up to the next end of the earth also go to the tax office register your vehicle it's quite simple the only thing hard about tax office is that if you reach from seven o'clock in the morning it's a strong possibility that 12 midday you just get through because when you reach 50 people sleep overnight already in the line so yeah have fun with that <laughs> step four is going to be the waiting game so usually before the bank asks you to do insurance on the car or any little paperwork they are generally processing your loan and that will take maybe like two to ten days but the good thing is when them ask you to get insurance and get the rest of paperwork you know said so that mean generally some of the time you have qualified for that loan and that you are going to get your new whip soon but all i'm saying in step four is to just sit back and wait don't fret go about your daily life just taking your taxi or riding that bicycle or use your god-given 10 tour turbo to move from point a to point b now we're going on to step five and that is picking up the machine picking up your car so you get your brand new car right now and you're in it and you love it and you enjoy it but what no buying the car isn't the final step this is where the journey of being a car owner actually starts this is where responsibility sets in and this is where your friends will treat you like a taxi service <laughs> but joking about that friends part if you have friends who stay like that then charge them fear but this is the step where you should now start focusing very strongly on a budget not because you now have a car that means you can go every and anywhere remember the bank owns your car for the next couple of years so please budget for your monthly repayment for your gas for your repairs for your insurance for your licensing for your fitness and for any little bus tire that will happen along the way owning a car is a very huge responsibility and sometimes it is a responsibility that we take for granted and sometimes it's a responsibility that will continue to burn a bigger hole in our pockets if we don't strategically manage the inflow and outflow of our money into that machinery of transportation yes it's already taking money from you monthly and sometimes it won't put money back into your pocket but please manage the rate at which you put money into this vehicle and don't go head over heels trying to fit into a status quo when you clearly can't afford that object or that badge of having 
a brand new Chris Carr into a group that is doing better than you. Stick to the basics, stick to something simple if that is what your budget allows and just remember that the goal is to get from point A to point B. Hopefully this video will help assist you in the process of purchasing your first vehicle or purchasing a vehicle through a bank. Thank you for watching my channel. This has been Demetrius Fearman and until next time, happy investing.